If you want to know how to use the Aircast Cryo Cup, you came to the right spot. We're going to show you how to do it step by step, fast and easy. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button to, and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video, which you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump right into it. Cold therapy is an awesome way to help relieve your pain and swelling after surgery, injury, or just a hard day of being a weekend warrior. So how do you properly use a cold therapy machine? Well, I'm gonna show you the proper way to do this end to end. And once we're done, I'm also gonna show you the number one trick to make your cold therapy experience easier. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the pad and the part number are correct. You would do this by looking at the front right corner of the pad where the part number will be listed on the white label. So please be sure to make sure that you ordered the correct pad. And the universal protocol for cold therapy is 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Also, please make sure to check with your doctor for any other instructions while you're using the cold therapy device just to be on the safe side. First thing you wanna do is check and make sure you got the correct cuff that you ordered. This is the ankle cuff, and the part number on this is 10A01. Now that you've made sure you have the right cuff for your system, we're gonna show you how to apply it. This is the ankle cuff for the Aircast Cryo system. So before you put it on, you need to connect the base. These are just pieces of hard plastic that are gonna provide support to the bottom of your foot. And please note that cold therapy does not come through this part. This is just for support. Once you have that fastened in place, you're going to place it on the foot. The bottom of the foot goes in the bottom on that base. Pull the straps around the foot and bring your strap around the ankle part. Once that's securely in place, you're gonna to wanna to take your hose from the cooler Connect it to the hose on the cuff. Once you hear that click, that lets you know that it's secure. Next, you can take your cord and plug it into your cooler, and then you're ready to begin your therapy. So with the Aircast products, we call this blue to blue. And these work much better when you keep them on the same level. That way the pump doesn't have to work as hard and you get a better cooling experience. Probably the biggest problem or challenges people face is when they put it on the floor, this has to pump uphill. It doesn't last as long and it doesn't get as cool. So please try to keep them on the same level if you can. Great job, Michelle, in showing us how to do that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm gonna show you our number one trick to help make things easier for you. We have freeze bags that you can use in the cooler and they come in packs of 12 you place three in the cooler and the rest in the fridge, and then you just keep rotating the bags. This way, especially if you're alone, you don't have to keep chasing after ice, and your refrigerator will have a really hard time keeping up anyway. Now that you know how to use your cold therapy machine, let me know in the comments section below if you found this video helpful, and do give us a like, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and let's get back to living.